Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today we are back on West Country. Uh, no we're not, we're back on Yorkshire even, not West Country. It's because I'm looking at East Yorkshire here uh, and saying West Country. This just, just wrong. Uh, yeah, we are back on Yorkshire County 3. We're going to be running an 83A service today with the Master Switch Veiling 2. Now, uh, I thought that we'd have a go on the Veiling 2 because we have been spending a lot of time on the Renown and it would be quite fair to make a, di a direct, sorry, direct comparison between the two buses and my goodness me don't get me wrong I love the Veiling 2 I think it's an absolute pleasure to drive but from spending so much time on the Studio Polygon Renown as of recent it kind of looks a bit basic in comparison and you know don't get me the, the, the modeling is absolutely fantastic I love it I do love this bus I love the sounds I, I love all of it but like it's Maybe it's because it's got that, it looks like it's just rolled off the production line. Everything is immaculate when you look at it. It's very weird. Since driving an Eclipse, I'm like, yep, this is very much like, like mine. Apart from the fact it's quite different. But apart from all the differences... Uh, right, hang on. How do, we, how do we do the module? The module is there. There we go. Uh, so we shall put in all of this. Driver number 692. I wish Studio Polygon would put post-it notes on things. It has to be said because I keep forgetting the flipping numbers. Yep, driver number pin 3922. <coughs> we'll just click all the rest of that. That's lovely. And, uh, of course, we need to put 83A on the top here. Now, how on earth do we work this controller? I don't know. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Hmm. 83. Let's just put 83. I don't know how to do it. Is it is it on here somewhere? Ah, here we go. Right. That'll do. Where's me 83A? I can't see it. Uh, 83A Westfield Police. So it'd be one one eight three. Yeah, one eight three. Let's let's put one eight three on. One eight three. No, one hang on. Clear. Yeah. One. Oh it's 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 not working. One. Ah, why is it not working? Destination. Right, get rid of you. Destination. One eight three. Mine eighty three eight. The ha Omzi nil Joe one. There we go. Right. Okay. So we shall have a bit of a uh, bit of lighting in. Oh, lovely, lovely. Right. Smashing. Right. Come on, everybody. Wait, on you go. Hello there. Because I'd realise, as I say it, uh, that uh, Hi, yeah. you know I'm oh, sat here realising that place. it's uh, it, we're going to be late. That's what I'm trying to say. Ooh, look, ticket. I like that. One, two, what do I need? Two, fifty, seventy, eighty. Thanks very much. Everything's just weird now because it's all in different places to the Studio Polygon stuff. Right, so hang on, have I put the cab light on? I don't think I meant to do that. What? What's it like in here? Right, hang on. Is the cab light just on because... Oh yeah, I, I, I don't need that. Turn it off. Right, okay, hang on. I, I want my cab light off. Is it because the doors are open? There we go. That's what we wanted. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, everything is uh, is ready to go. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's because Studio Polygon have spent so much time uh, actually making it look like it's knackered and it's been in service for ages. When you come to the master switch, which, again, it, it just looks like it's come off the production line. That lorry's going to hit us. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. We'll give him a little double flash on the hazard lights there. Yeah, so now when you come to drive this bus, it just looks a bit, you know, it doesn't have that depth that the Renown has, and I hope that they will update this at some point with, like, slightly more knackered specs, because, I mean, the Eclipse 2 has been out for a good many years now, hasn't it? What are we, 2022 now? The first examples were seen in late 2008, early 2009. So, yeah, it would be really, really good if, uh, you know, if we could see an updated version where the textures are a little bit more shabby. You know, and it just has that depth to it. It has to be said as well, this is very, very quick. I think it needs to be a little bit slower. I hadn't noticed it so much until, like I said, until driving the Renown, where you sit with your foot down and it it's quite slow. And of course, since driving my own Eclipse, the it, it just accelerates too fast. It needs to be slower, heavier, just more sluggish in general, I think. Uh, again, from not actually driving a bus, really 
to now doing this. It, yeah, it's, it's just too fast. Just a bit too fast. All right, here we go. We're going to end up really early. There we go. We'll just spin around after that. Uh, the link, of course, to the bus, if you wish to buy the bus, and, of course, the East Yorkshire repin is in the uh, the description. It's an East Yorkshire repaint pack, and I saw it on Fellows Film. I was like, do you know what? I absolutely need to get me a bit of this. Yeah, you see, when I put my foot down now, it's just a little bit too fast. Right, let's just pause there, however, for a second, because uh, we need to just get a, a little, little photograph. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah, as much as I'm critical about like some of the features of this bus, it does look brilliant, doesn't it? And I am really looking forward to uh, to the Master Switch Veil in one pack, for obvious reasons. Oh, it's limited a little bit slower than mine. It can only do 71 kilometres an hour. I guess there's no, like... Well, I suppose you have to have some required speed for a limiter, but there's probably no legal... It probably has to be set at a certain speed, but can be less, you know what I mean? Because I think my Eclipse will do 52. Other versions can do like 56, you know, so obviously this can only do 45, so I guess the limiter, yeah, maybe it's just not set up for, for fast running like this. East Yorkshire, when they ordered the things, might have specified a, uh, a slower spec. You just don't know. It does feel weird on these country lanes, though. What I have also noticed since uh, since driving my own Eclipse is that this doesn't have enough rattle, squeaks, crashes, bangs. It just doesn't have enough of any of them. Um, I mean, like, we've got a little rattle, rattle there. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys, I've left you behind there. You didn't come out in time. Yeah, there's there's just, you know, like, as a, if you've watched the video on my bus, there's always things squeaking. The cab door is always squeaking away here. Uh, everything is just falling apart. The dash, all the dash wobbles when you go over a uh, when you go over bumps. I realise that might be quite hard to replicate in Omsi, but it's everything's a bit too well built on this for my liking um, compared to my bus. It's all you know, like I mean, if we if we can just have a look in here, this particular panel here above your head, that is really rattly. Like as you're driving along. Oh, hang on, I'm on the wrong side of the road. There we go. Yeah, it's it's so rattly. It's just, you don't get that on this. Now, are we going not left? Right, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you, you just don't get it. And I've really, since driving that Renown, I've really come to, I think the Renown has kind of spoiled every other bus ever for me. <laughs> Old Omsi. Because now I just can't drive them without thinking, yeah, it's a bit naff, is this? In comparison. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I've just had my, uh, Maybe I'm just looking at it from... Maybe I'm expecting too much. So I've literally got, like, one bus that I can drive in Omsi now. Like, for goodness sake. <laughs> right, here we go. Somebody getting off. That said, the sounds that we do have are very good. Um, again, I have to press and hold. Oh, hang on, you need your handbrake on, don't you? I forget about that. Posh bus, this. Great. Time. None of that. Uh, oh, yeah. None of that with the renown. Hello, mate. Or actually, the bus I bought, the Eclipse. Return, it's only please. the uh, it's only the Eclipse twos and newer that have the requirement to have the uh, the handbrake on, I believe. Lovely. Cheers. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, because with my particular Eclipse, you can set off with your doors open. And at like five mile an hour, they shut on their own, which is brilliant. How clever. Right, let's just stick it about 30. Oh, hang on. Sorry, Mr. Taxi Driver. Didn't see you there. What? Hello. Hello there. Good job. It is like a rocket, this thing. What with the handbrake and all that.
One thing as well, and I don't know if it's a first group retrofit, but uh, when you set the handbrake on this off, it moves. And that might sound like a really silly thing to say, but on uh, on my 05 plate clips, apparently, it, uh, it's been retrofit so that when you take the handbrake off, there's a two second delay. So it, it takes the handbrake off and it'll make the, the beepy Volvo farty noise that you get. But you can't actually apply any power, or you can you can rev the engine, but it won't take the handbrake off until two seconds. Now I don't know why they've done that, I'm assuming it was a safety feature so that you can't accidentally take the handbrake off, or if you do accidentally take it off, you'll have time to put it back on. I, I think it's a really odd thing, uh, and again, I'd, I'd, if, I don't know if that was a first group spec thing, or if, uh, if that's a Volvo thing. Because if it is a Volvo thing, this does not feature it. Pop a bit of, bit of fan on, there we go. Try and heat the thing up. Heck, we're two minutes early. How on earth did that happen? Oh, we're waiting for uh, for the buses to come out there, but there's no buses. I see. Right, off we go. <laughs> Driving this like a madman. Well, we've got to get there, haven't we? We want to get there on time. They'd be all moaning if we were late. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this when we drove this 83A the uh, the other way last week. Was it in the lime livery that I drove this? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, really thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought we'd drive it the other way in this East Yorkshire livery. Just to really show off... I mean, it, it looks fantastic. You get so many different liveries with it. You get the newer version. I mean, this is the newer variant, isn't it? I mean, well, I say the newer variant. It's, uh, it was the newer variant of the East Yorkshire Motor Services livery. Right, there we go, straight out. Newer variant of the East Yorkshire Motor Services livery uh, before they were taken over by Go Ahead. Oh, there's an 83A going the other way there, hello. It's a bit weird as well not having your mirror to see, it's a little bit, like I'd rather be sat a bit further back in the chair. But then I could get that new add-on, couldn't I, that's about 13 quid on uh, on the Steam Workshop where you can move your camera position around, that'd be good. coming the other way here. One thing that I will say about this in comparison to the renown, the renown though is when you look down at your ticket machine and then you look back up it doesn't have to load all the white textures in again because obviously there's a lot less going on with this bus. So in terms of OMSI friendly I would say that this was a little bit more OMSI friendly simply because it just doesn't have the same level of, I mean like all the textures are, are very very high resolution textures on the renown. Morning, darling. Looks like rain later. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. We'll stamp on the brake there. Right, quick, go, go, go. stopping because I always end up stopping at the tram stop down here do I? If I remember rightly. I always end up stopping in the tram stop.
Oh, there we go. Bus stop. Oh no, but there's nobody to get on. Right, okay. Yeah, there I am stopping in the bus stop. And there's nobody getting on. So we'll just blast past. Let's just, uh, let's just nip in here and skip two minutes ahead. There we go. Effortlessly done there. Oh, hang on, there's a few people getting on here, isn't there? Right, here we go. Waves with trackside. Hang on, where are we now? Morning, there we go. Sweetie. That's better. Morning, sweetie. Hello there. Hello. Good morning. Oh, right, we're, we're ready. We're ready. Right, hang on. So we'll just nip round here. This is beautiful, isn't it? This particular area of Yorkshire. Since I've been doing a few more trips on this Yorkshire map, I am actually starting to really like it. I, I didn't not like it. I always thought it was a fairly decent map, but yeah, since I've been doing a few more little trips round, I've really been enjoying myself on it. It's very good. Shops, that'll do. Top of the morning to you, love. Come on, off we go. Foot down. <laughs> right, should we actually go round the roundabout? Should we try to do this properly? I mean, I know it's like a mini roundabout, so we can just go sailing across the middle, but... No, let's let's do it properly. I know it sounds silly, but, like, we're, we're here, aren't we? How on earth did that happen? <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, dear me. Why on earth have they called it Ticketer Transport? I know it's sponsored by Ticketer, this map, but for goodness sake, could they not have thought of a better name? I get, like, putting the ticket delivery on the trams. But Ticketer Transport, I've never noticed that before. It just sounds a bit naff, doesn't it? Right, okay, here we are at Wavesworth Interchange. I do hope you enjoyed that. I most certainly did. I think this livery really, really does suit it. If you have enjoyed the uh, the video today, please make sure you click that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe. There's uh, there's plenty more exciting things to happen for OMSI, and I'd absolutely hate for you to miss out. So yeah, do make sure that you subscribe. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.